Greetings, my name is Lori Strakowski from the University of California, San Francisco, and I'm so excited to announce our recent publication in the AJR special series, OREDS Ultrasound, a User's Guide. I have with me my co-authors, my colleagues from UCSF, Priyanka Jha and Tara Morgan. From Vanderbilt, we have Rochelle Andriotti, Katie Davis, and Christine Dove. And for our friends from up north, from University of Toronto, Phyllis Glantz and Tanya Chala. Since the uh, lexicon and restratification papers were released, we've received a lot of great feedback as well as questions about how to use. And so we thought it was really timely to get a paper like this out where we could address some of those issues, um, present to you some of the nuances, and just give you some practical tips and make the whole system a lot easier to use. Yes, ORADS has been out for almost two years. Not yet many people realize that it's here. While there are several other systems out there that provide terminology and management guidance for adnexal lesions, ORADS provides a risk of malignancy with management recommendations, which is a great tool to guide clinicians and patients. There is both ultrasound and MRI arms in ORADS, and they are complementary. Ultrasound is usually considered the first line of imaging, with MRI reserved for problem solving. Our paper focuses on ultrasound, but offers some tips on when MRI will be most useful. Along those lines, we felt it was important to offer some guidance about ORADS usage and wanted to stress that while you can use it for every finding, it is most important when you see a non-physiologic lesion. There also seemed to be some confusion about whether it's okay to use ORADS in the high risk and symptomatic patient, which it is. It's just that the management recommendations may differ in those scenarios. So we took this opportunity to clarify this along with some of the other nuances of the governing concepts and rules. Absolutely. This was also a great opportunity to clarify to those who thought the system was too complicated that not every feature needs to be addressed for every lesion in order to place it in an ORADS category. In fact, for many lesions, it's only a couple features that matter. Once you see the algorithm we created which breaks it down, ORADS becomes much more manageable, which is really the meat of the paper, focusing on those key decision points for each lesion type and keeping it simple. That's right, you can really break it down into three simple steps. One, is it physiologic? If not, two, is it one of the classic benign lesions that are most common? If not, three, which one of the five lesion categories does it fall into? We take you step-by-step step through the process which mirrors the smartphone app that was recently released. The app is a really great tool for quickly getting to an ORADS category and management options. I really love the app. On average, it only takes me about seven seconds to get to a score, and that's really been a game changer in my daily practice. And both the app and the algorithm that we present in this manuscript are identical, and they really help to streamline the whole process. In addition, we have some beautiful images we've included in the figures, and there are also some really important tips in the figure legend, so please make sure you don't skip those. Getting those beautiful images does require knowing how to optimize in both grayscale and color Doppler. So we included a technical consideration section with some technical pearls and common pitfalls that can help you avoid them. If you have online access to see the CINES, please check out the embedded videos because we know if an image is worth a thousand words, wait till you see these videos, they're fun. And lastly, we wanted just to conclude with some suggestions on how to incorporate ORADS terminology and recommendations into your daily pelvic ultrasound reports in a way in which we think you will find both useful and practical. As the chair of ORADS, I'm really thrilled with this user's guide for ORADS ultrasound. The previous publications needed to be a bit more detailed, so we were able to have some fun with this and make it a lot more practical. ORADS is a work in progress, so we need your help. Please use it and give us feedback so we can make it better. We are very hopeful this manuscript will inspire you. So read, enjoy, and spread the word. Bye. Bye.